Shang Wong, Shang Wong. Call Hung Lang Lang, you how about Sim Yao Shai? Bashim, Rakak Wadash. That belongs to the Elsney Apostles, the Great Millstone of the Well. Shang Wong to the 144,000, the one third remnant men, women, and children of the hopeful elect. Shang Wong, Shang Wong. That's the brother Gabar Yash coming back at you with another quick lesson through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim Yao Shai. Lord will it's edify and to feed the lambs of Yahweh Bashim Yao Shai. Praise and let's be edifying and straight to the point. And we are clearly at the end, man. The end is speaking, man. Okay? <laughs> and I feel like I'm about to do a whole bunch of episodes of the writing is on the wall, man. Okay? The writing is on the wall, man. We're going to keep saying this. The writing is on the wall. Okay? All right? You see? All right? And there's uh, some videos I watched, man, where, hey, got banks are closing their branches, man. Okay? Banks are closing, okay? And you see it right there. You got Huntington Bank that's closing 26 branches, okay? They got another one to close, all right, including in Cleveland, all right, in 2024. So I don't think we're going to make it to 2024. But nevertheless, man, if we do, uh, hey, I believe going into 2024, all right, I'm just speaking as a man, okay? We could be in a damn crisis, man. We're going to be in total chaos here in Babylon, the Great America. This is what's about to go down, man. Okay? And you see, you see, a U.S. bank closed 3,000 branches in 2023. Okay? All right. This is from five days ago. Bank of America, Wells Fargo, Wells Fargo, more branch closures. All right. So all these banks are getting ready to close, man. Okay, you see, the financial crisis is, hey, we're close, man, okay, which is all going to lead up to this, okay, let's get this, this is what it's all going to lead up to, the MOTB, man, which is the CHIP, okay, this is from the People's Voice TV, and it says, former WEF member turned whistleblower warns about globalist plans to, you see the word, all right, micro CHIP people, man. Okay, yeah. This is what's next. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's read a little bit of this. It says the global elite plans to co coerce population into having micro CHIP implants under their skin to be able to access digital currency. This is what is spoken of in Revelation 13, verse 16 through 18. Okay, okay, so all these camps that are not teaching about this, man, yeah, you got to go, you're going to have some explaining to do pretty soon. Let's keep reading. Universal basic income and other services, according to German economics, Richard Winner. Winner, who is former WEF global leader for tomorrow's turn whistleblower, urges caution on the emerging Technologies during a discussion last year at the International Science Summit of 2022. <clears throat> he said that the WEF have purposely stopped short of, of showing people what a central bank digital currency, the CBDC, will look like because it involves under the skin implant about the size of a grain of rice. And this is what the man of the Lord have been warning you about, man. Okay? The CBDC. Okay? We're just going to eventually, you know, hey, they're going to switch over to the MOTB, which is going to be the C hip. Okay? This is where it's all going. Okay? And you can see the video. I'm not going to play it. I'll put this in the description box. You can. You know, watch this and read this for yourself, okay? And that grain of rice is your entire wallet, yeah. An interviewer asked Wiener. He replied, yes, it's your digital ID, your wallet. It can be your passport, your key. And this is what the man of the Lord had been warning you Israelites, man. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans about, man, okay? So we are here, man. Okay, and they're creating this financial crisis to usher in this new digital system, man. They're about to crash out the old system to bring out the 
to bring in the new digital system, man. InfoWars reporter Wiener highlighted the RFID technologies featured on debit and credit cards that allow data to be transferred, and they're going to really get rid of, uh, you know, credit and debit cards, and you're going to be able to use that, not just money, okay? Your credit and debit card is going to be on that C hip, man. All of that, your license, social security, everything, okay? Transfer via a swipe are conditioning people to gradually accept contactless interactions as a daily part of everyday part of life, you see? Okay? Now, of course, what we found with our debit cards or credit cards is they are already now move to the system of the you see it all right see the word see hip okay all right the rfid technology where you just wave the thing contactless wiener described that that is sort of conditioning us in this direction that in the future you will just wave your hand that's why they got those things like an uh and Amazon, all right, you know the Amazon pay thing, all right, where you just go in the store and you just wave your palm. Come on, man. We're here, okay? We are here. No more excuses, bro. No more excuses. Just wave your hand because you got the, you say the word, under your skin, all right? There you go. And I'm not going to read no more of this. I'll put the rest in the description box because you know how you saw it in this, man. He's snatching videos down like crazy now. So, hey. <laughs> and you already know. Well, let's get the scriptures, man. Okay? Let's get the scriptures. Because, hey. <laughs> we're here, man. Let's go to... Let's go to Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse... Yeah, right here. Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 12. The time has come. The day draweth near. Let no, let not the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn. For wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Yeah. You're not going to be able to buy and sell unless you have that, that sea hip, man. Okay. Verse 13. For the seller shall not return to that which is sold, although they were yet alive. For the vision is touching the whole multitude thereof, which shall not return, neither shall any strengthen himself in the iniquity of his life. Verse 14, they have blown the trumpet, even to make all ready, but none goeth to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Yeah, the men of the Lord are blowing that trumpet, man, and sounding the alarm, okay? But hey, there's our people... You know, preparing themselves for what's about to happen? No. Okay? They're not. And it's going to catch a lot of these people on off guard, man. A lot of these people are in for a rude awakening, man. Okay? Like I said, when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. Okay? So a lot of folks are about to be caught off guard, man. The prophets have been out warning you Israelites, man, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, about what's to go, what's about to go down. And hey, we're here, man. Okay? And pretty soon, you ain't gonna see the men of the Lord on the highways and byways pretty soon. Or on this uh platform, man. On any platforms. Okay? The warnings have gone out. No excuses. Okay? You have no excuse. Okay? No excuse at all. Verse 15. The sword, is, the sword is without, and the pestilence and the famine within. He that is in the field shall die with the sword, and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. Yeah. The Lord, how about Shion you know, Shai is about to bring a whole lot of judgment up on Babylon, the great America, man. And speaking of which, man, I had a very, very, very vivid dark dream this morning, man. I'm going to talk about it for a little bit, a little bit, man. Okay. I'm going to try to tell you what I remember, man. Okay. All right. It was real, real dark. I was walking, you know, here where I live, man. All right. It was kind of because I kind of know the places where it, it was like everything was just closed, man. 
okay? Everything was closed. It was so dark, okay? All right? And let me see what else I remember in this dream because I remember little bits of it. I don't remember all of it, but I remember bits of it, okay? But like I was saying, man, it was real, real dark. I was walking, man, and I noticed, man, it's like <laughs> everything was just locked down. Everything was just, all right, it was like, it was just taped up and shit, man. But I noticed that everything was just closed, man. Everything was closed. You know, you couldn't go in no stores. You couldn't go basically nowhere, man. Okay? And I was walking, all right? And it was so dark, man. It was it was it was like fucking scary as hell, man. You know? I couldn't see nothing. It was like, you know, you had some light, alright? To my left, you could see a little bit of light. But as you look towards the right, man, it was just dark and shit. I mean. So hey, what that tell you, man? Something big is about to go down. Okay? All right, and that's, I remember, that's about all I can remember in that dream, man. But, hey, <clears throat> oh, plus I was looking in the sky, man, and, you know, and I saw, like, I don't know if they were cherries or, like, stars or something like that, man. But, hey, something big is about to go down, man. Something huge is about to go down. Something big is coming, okay? Destruction. And we have warned you, Israelites, man. Time and time again. But the time of warning you is coming to an end. Okay? So that's pretty basically all I remember in this dream, man. It was just so dark, man. And you know. And that's pretty much all I remember in that dream. I'm sorry I can't remember the rest, man. But hey. Man, something big is about to go down, bro. Okay? Verse 16. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 70, verse 16. But they... But they that escape of them shall escape and shall be on the mountains like doves of the valleys, all of them mourning, every one for his iniquity. Verse 17, all hands shall be feeble and all knees shall be weak as water. Yeah, these people are about to be in for a rude awakening, man. Shock of their lives, man. These people that believe and trust in this wicked ass system. Yeah, they're about to be caught off guard, man. Okay, and I'm going to get a scripture on that. Verse 18, they shall go, they shall also gird themselves with sackcloth and horror shall cover them and shame shall be upon all faces and baldness upon all their heads. Verse 19, they shall cast their silver in the streets and their gold shall be removed. That's talking about the money, man. Okay, the money is about to go. You ain't going to be able to go in the stores with money and Cash and all of that pretty soon. Okay. All right. Their silver and their gold shall not be able to deliver them in the day of the glory, the day of the wrath of the Lord Habashin Yahshai. They shall not satisfy their souls, neither fill their bowls, because it is the stumbling block of their iniquity, man. Okay. So all you Israelites, man, that trust in this wicked ass system, man, you're in for a rude awakening. Let's get this. Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, and how about she out shy? That take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with the covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. Verse 2. To, sloggy, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked that my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. Who's modern day Pharaoh in this uh modern day Egypt? Esau even a so-called white man. Okay? And a lot of people, and a lot of people, especially yours, nice, hey, you trust in this wicked system, man. This system's about to <coughs> man, this system's about to go down, man. Okay? Verse uh three. Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. A lot of you people about to be confused, man. Let's skip down to verse 12. Isaiah 13, verse 12. Wherefore, thus said the Lord. Sorry, let me read that again. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. Where, wherefore, thus said the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise his word, and two-thirds of our people, they despise his word, man, and trust in oppression and perverseness and stay thereon. Verse 13. Therefore, this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall whose breaking cometh suddenly in an 
instant. Yeah, that's about to take place, man. Let's go to Zephaniah 1 and verse 10, I believe. Yep, right here. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 10. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord in Habashim Shai, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate, and then howling from the second, and a great crashing from the hills. This system is about to crash, man. Babylon is through. Wake up, Israel. Wake your asses up, man. Time is running out. The writing is on the wall. Okay? The writing is on the wall. Verse 11. How ye inhabitants of Mashtag, for all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off, man. Okay? Verse 12. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will, that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish men that are settled on their leaves. That say in their hearts, which means their minds, the Lord Yahweh shall will not do good, neither will he do evil. Evil days are upon us. Okay? Be circumspect. Let's get that scripture. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye are circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise. Circumspect means to look around, about. Pay attention. Okay? Verse 16. Redeem the time because the days are evil. We're in evil days, man. Okay? Evil days are upon us. This is part of Jacob's trouble. That is spoken of right here. Jeremiah chapter 30. And let's start up at verse 5. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 5. For thus said the Lord, how about she out shy? We have heard a voice of trembling, of fear, and not of peace. We're not in no time of peace, man. Okay. Verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man do travail with child. Can man have children? No. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turning to paleness. Okay. Men are going to be afraid out here. Women, especially you women. All right. <laughs> that love money. All right. Yeah. <laughs> it's over, man. It's through. Verse seven. Alas, for that day is great so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Only the elect of Israel will be saved out of these times, man. Okay? The times that are going to come. You're about to see chaos in these streets, man. A time like no other. Let's get Daniel 12 and 1. Okay? The book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up. The great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. Only the elect is going to be delivered out of this man. Two thirds of you wicked ass Israelites. These heathens and these Edomites about to get ready to die man. Judgment. Okay. This devil is coming down with great wrath because he know that he had but a short time. Okay? Revelation 12 and 12. Let's read this. Revelation 13 verse 16 because this prophecy is about to come to pass, man. Okay? Revelation chapter 13 and verse 16. And he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead. That karagma, man, to see him. Verse 17, and that no man might by ourselves say he that had the mark of the name of the beast or the number of his name. You won't be able to buy, sell, trade, do nothing. Okay. Here's wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six. Okay. Let's go over here to Revelation chapter 14 and we're going to start at verse eight, man. Revelation 14 verse eight. And there followed another angel saying, Babylon is falling, is falling, that great city, because she made all nations drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Yeah, all these nations are drunk and all the wine of Babylon the great, man. Spiritually drunk. All people, you Israelites, spiritually drunk and all the wine of Babylon the great, man. Okay? But hey, these nations are waking up to the BS of Babylon. Okay? And this place is going to be nuked out. 
Verse 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worships the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead and his hand, he worships his image of this beast, which is the NWO. Okay? Bow down to this beast system that is, okay, that's controlled by the UN and NATO. All right? Along with Babylon the Great America, and you will see this devil's mark, which is the RFID C hip. What's going to happen? Verse 10 The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh by Shemiel Shah, which is poured out without missing into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. You're going to be left here to be burnt up, man. You're going to become missile food, okay? The hour of temptation is upon us, okay? So stay circumspect, Israel, okay? I'm talking to the elect of Israel. Two-thirds, they don't care, all right? They're the one that's going to be caught off guard, man. But hey, the warning has gone out, man. So the blood is off our hands, okay? The warnings have gone out, and there's, hey, if you Israelites don't take heed, man, you're going to be left here to die. You're going to get caught up in this, Okay? Revelation chapter 3 and verse 10, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. Okay, Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And the hour of temptation is this devil's going to try to entice you to go off, man, by taking that sea hit, man. Well, this is upon us. That's why they're bringing the financial crisis, man, closing all these banks. They're doing this on purpose, okay? To usher in they new digital system, which is going to be that great reset, man. The NWO, okay? Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Verse 11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Hold fast to this truth, man. Hold fast to this wisdom and knowledge, man. Because shit is about to get rough out here, okay? S L S H. Uh, FT man, I don't know if I'm saying that right. No, I don't think I am. All right, SHTF. All right, shit's about to hit the fan, man. Okay, SHTF. All right, Slock you. So, hey, shit's about to hit the fan, man. These people, <laughs> these people about to lose their minds, man, when they go to the bank and can't get no money. When they can't get no money out the bank, banks closed, ATMs are closed. <laughs> Boy, as a matter of fact, <laughs> let's get this scripture. Because this is about to pop off. Second Israel chapter 15, verse 14. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. Verse 15. For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. The modern day sword is the gun. There's about to be a lot of killing out here, a lot of bloodshed, okay? Verse 16, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes in the course of their actions shall stand in their power. People are going to take shit into their own hands, man. These people are not playing. People can see the writing on the wall, man, okay? Most people can. The rest of these people can't. And those are going to be the ones that are going to be caught off guard. The writing is clearly on the wall, man. And that's going to be part three. Episode three of this. The writing is on the wall. The financial crisis in the MOTB. I'm going to call this lesson. Okay? So the writing is clearly on the wall, man. Verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Martial law, checkpoints, lockdowns. Okay? Verse 18, for because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Not just men, women. Okay? Verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy the houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Lack of food. Okay? You, shells are about to be empty, man. Okay? This shit is about to go down. Skin is real out here, man. Okay? Take heed to this word. Repent, Israel, before it's too late. Like we say, time is running out. The days are being shortened for the elect's sake. Okay? 
This devil knows that he got a short time, so he is about to bring it. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else I got? That's pretty much it. I'm gonna end it here, man. So Lord, when I praise quick lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises to God for case to go see how about some young shy. Bow shim rakak with us till next time. Shawn Wom, Kwam Yon Sharala, and why a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball. Okay? A Baba Ball, a Baba Ball, a Baba Ball. Destruction is near. Repent, Israel. Shawn Wom. <laughs>